Hey everybody, my name is Gaten Moore. Welcome back for another video of NHL 9. We're going to continue the series. In the last episode, we actually did the free agency for our uh, players or our team, I should say. We ended up signing a lot of big time players right now just to win the cup. Since the very first year, which it was the last year, we ended up going to the finals of the cup which was pretty ridiculous so we were at this we were this close to winning the actual cup at our first year now with the team upgraded team we've got in front of us which i'm going to show you guys really quick we went ahead and got Fosberg, Stahl, Fedorov just to upgrade our team right here we got Tangi as well Steve shot in a trade that's right, we actually got Steve Schott in a trade, it's, it's not me that went for him. Another team had Steve Schott and actually traded it for me. Why not? For a couple of prospects. And we got a Bowmeister, we got Kubina in there too. Um, I think Kubina was for a trade as well, he was part of the same trade as uh, a Steve Schott as well. So we got a 2 for 1 and also we still got the same two goaltenders but... I also picked up Grossman in the, uh, the the waivers, so I can play him in the minors. He's 76 overall, so he's a good prospect, young prospect for us. This year, we're gonna already going to start the simulation. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, so all the way up to the Cap Washington Capitals game. This year... It should be an incredible year for us with the, the incredible offense we've got. Two stud lineups, two first lines that are incredible with 90s overall in the lineups. 8-3, to 5-2, to two, this is the type of games we're going to have for sure, I guess. I mean, we're not going to have trouble scoring, that's for sure, with the team we've got in front of us. Now, defense-wise, we're still a little bit weak for my own liking. Okay, so that's... Let's see. Let's just see Rick Creek because this is a prospect, right? A big time goalie prospect, actually. And um, I should say it's a starter, basically, for someone that it's not gonna grow anymore. But minors. He's only giving me that, though. He's not giving me anything else. It's not really worth it. He doesn't play well. So no, I'm not gonna accept that because he doesn't play well. It's not worth it for me. All right, so. Let's see what we got here. It's still some free agents that uh, are getting signed here at the beginning of the season. That's fine. So we lo uh, we won our last game. So after 10 games, after 10 games, guys, we have a record of 7-2-1, and one, which is exactly what I was hoping for my team to have I, with the team we've got in front of us. I mean, there's no stopping us, even though there's no... There's no single one of our players, big-time players, that are in the best rankings right now there's none of them or that are in the top five but that's okay we got ov toe blake in there which is interesting uh, guy lafleur all right and we are fourth in our uh, conference as well which is really good doing really good i don't need to change anything so let's just continue two four six eight and ten I want to try to finish this, uh, to do the entire season in this episode, guys, or this video. I really want to try it. So let's, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it, and go for an entire season. See if it works out or not. If it doesn't, it's probably because I'm gonna have trades to do or some lineups. Maybe injuries are gonna slow down, uh, slow us down. But aside from that. I don't think I think we should just work through it. Look at this: seven to one, eight to four wins. This is the type of team we're gonna be this year, guys. Our, de our defense is not gonna be that great. Still, still needs a little bit of improvement. It's, but it's already better than last year. Okay, let's see. Joe and John Sim, so, uh, left winger. We don't really need a left winger for the minors. He doesn't play good. I'm gonna let him go to the uh, to the minors. I'm not gonna claim him. All right. So Sammy Salo got injured. He's gonna get replaced, and I think we're good. So we're still fourth in our uh, in our uh, conference. But uh, after 20 games, 14, four and two, pretty great, guys. Yeah, pretty great. And actually, Kovalchuk on our team 
He's the best, best player of the league right now. 41 points. That's great, guys. That's great right there. That's exactly what I want to see. The best player of the league right now is our, our player, our top player. Uh, let's just go see the stats because it's been 20 games now already. So let's might as well just look at the stats for our players, see what they're up to. So best scorer, good lord. Kovalchuk's got 19 goals in 20 games played. No wonder he's the best of the league right now. Forsberg is another scorer. I mean, he's playing with Forsberg, for Christ's sake. This must be... It's one hell of a fifth line. Steve shot 10 goals. So, let's see. 41 points, 33 points. Really great. Robinson is doing awesome. Uh, Eric Stahl struggling a little bit for a 90 overall, but he's playing on the second line, so we got to keep that in mind. Same thing for, I guess, uh, Dickie Moore, which is playing... He's not playing as good as Steve Schott. Steve Schott is playing on the second, on the third line. Remember that. Steve Schott is actually playing on the third line. He's playing better than Dickie Moore. That's kind of weird, guys. Dickie Moore is playing on the third, second line. And I don't know. Steve Schott, my, uh, man. A little bit better right now. But let's just look really quick at our, def uh, our actual goaltenders. What they've done for us. Obviously, uh, Jacques Plante. Played all the games so far. A 90 saving percentage. I guess that's good enough. I guess. Should be doing better than this. But in these games, the goalies actually give up a lot of goals. I actually want to look at our stats for team-wise as well. Every 20 game, that's what we're going to look at. Let's see what we got. So, goals 4 per game. We're actually the, game, the, the team that's... Uh, scoring the most goals Okay, so let's see where we are. We are actually 21st For goals against per game, which is pretty great, which means we're 11th uh, best team for goals against per game or Yeah, 11th best team. Yeah, nice. All right, so we're not giving too many goals. That's pretty good power play We are six in the uh, in overall. That's really good for the power play penalty kill 28th though, so penalty kill is not good. We don't have a good penalty kill, so that's the one thing we're gonna have to change then. Change our penalty kill. Let's just see what we got actually in the penalty kill itself. These guys are pretty good. I should probably get better uh, players than this though. Play Como? No thank you. You should not be in there. Uh, it should actually be... Uh, I don't know why Forsberg is playing... Uh, right winger when he's a centerman so Forsberg you're gonna to go there Fedorov you Fedorov you can play there I guess is there better player than Fedorov but Fedorov is 93 uh, okay so 98 a centerman any centermans that are better let me see Stahl no Stahl is actually not that good okay so Fedorov for sure all right, so who's the best player right now for defense? Not really Kovalchuk. 80, 84, 84 for Dickie Moore. All right, so Dickie Moore and Alex Tange, they're both the, the two guys we're going to have to put in there. And uh, why is this guy... Is he better? No, Boomister is better than him. Robinson obviously is OP. So these two guys are pretty decent, I guess. Yeah, we're going to keep these guys where they are. Fedorov in Fosberg, sure. And what about okay, so Bomister, I want you there. And these guys are pretty they're good enough. Alright, so my penalty kill has been upgraded now. Let's see if it does well for us. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. All the way up to the Los Angeles Kings game in December, I believe. So let's see where uh, where we're gonna be. Now that we actually upgraded our uh, D, uh, or I should say our uh, penalty kill. Sammy Salo is back. We can actually uh, Salvador. We can get rid of him now and get Salo back in there. So Salvador, get get out of there. So he was in more than one lineup. Oh, power! He was in the power play too. Okay. So Sal, uh, Salo, there we go. I don't know why Salo is in the power play, guys. Uh, don't ask me that. All right, I'm not the one to uh, be asked that right now. Here we go. Let's continue the simulation. 
two and one so far seems like it's going to be two and two your initial has sustained multiple injuries and your lines are may no longer be valid really multiple injuries and who might not uh, who might that be so we just lost Kovalchuk. Kovalchuk is injured, I guess. Who could that be? A uh, Kozlov. Kozlov is going to be replacement. There's nobody else injured. I don't think so. At least I don't think there's anybody else that's injured. Oh well. Medu okay. So let me just do that really quick. Get Kozlov in there, just to replace for the time being. There we go. Anybody else? Kozlov was pretty much will be everywhere since Kovalchuk was there. That's a big, uh, big injury. It's mean, I mean, it's the best player of the league that's actually injured right now, which is really not good. But wasn't injured for too long. He's already back. He's already back and ready to play. So Kovalchuk, there we go. You go in there, and now we're gonna have to do this again. Put him everywhere he was. That's the one thing that's ridiculous. We cannot. We have to do this manually every time, because otherwise it doesn't work. Or is, it, there's not the option of doing a replace assistant replace really, really, like right away. So let's see how we do. I don't think we do. We're doing so good since ever since I. Uh, I my God, again. Who got injured again? Now it's in the right wing position. What the fuck, dude? Can you not? Can you stop with this shit? It's getting ridiculous, guys. All these injuries. Come on. Kozlov, you're going back in there, I guess. It's too many injuries. I think my team is not doing so good ever since I did the, the line changes. After 30, 33, uh, 30 games played, 19, 8, and 3, um, 50 points for Kovalchuk, as you can see, third in the, the league. He started to drop off a little bit. Uh, he's, he kind of slowed down because he, he had an injury, obviously, so that didn't help out. Uh, Lafleur and Morenz, the two best players so far. All right, so we're going to continue. Two, four, six, eight, and ten, all the way up to the Ra New York Rangers game. I want to see where that leads us after 40 games played, made basically the half of the season done. We're gonna see where we are, guys. We're still scoring bl uh, plenty of goals. I just need to see if we can, uh, if we still have it in us. If we're gonna slow, uh, start to slow down, or we're gonna pop it back off again because I'm, I'm seeing that we're starting to slow down a little bit. Even though we're going up, as you can see right here, Darren Adar is available, available to play finally. So Kozlov, you get out of there, and Adar is going in there, back. In the second line. So Adar is back. Hopefully we do not get any more injuries. The injuries are rough in this game. Very rough. It's ridiculous sometimes when you think about it. There goes a couple of wins right here. Can we win the last uh, two? There's one of win. In the New York Islanders. There's another win right there. Nice. We're going on a winning streak right here. And we're actually right now. After half of the season done. 40 games played. The best team of the conference, of our conference at least, with 57 points. Um, Kovalchuk is not in the top 5 anymore, but that's okay. If we can be the best team, I mean, that uh, is occurring very well for our playoffs. Let's just see now. Stat-wise, players first. See our players, where they are in terms of stats. So, goalie uh, goals. Slowed down for sure. Uh, 27 goals for Kovalchuk. 25 for um, Forsberg. 21 stall. 24 shot. We got 57 points for Kovalchuk. And 39 games played. Which is a lot. 44 po 54 points. Forsberg stall. 42 points. 41 points uh, Armstrong. 42 points is point per game player basically Robinson really great Steve shot third line is doing actually really great in the third line uh, Considering where he's playing Dickie Moore should be doing better than this because he's playing worse. He's not playing 
Like Steve Shot on the third line is playing better than him. He needs playing on the second line. I mean, come on. Come on, Dicky. You got this. All right. I believe in you. You can play better than this for sure. <laughs> the goaltender wise, uh, Lieutenant so far has played only one game and he actually got a shout out in that game. And Plant is doing all right. So, all good things, uh, things, all things considered, it's pretty good. Let's see where we are in terms of uh, of stuff, of of things. So, we're uh, we're not the best team for goal scoring anymore, but we're still the second best team. We're tied up with Pittsburgh, so I, I would consider that being the same. Um, goals against per game. So we are actually fifth uh, best team for goals against per game. That's pretty good. We're, uh, we upgraded. Power play. We're 11th position for power play. So still pretty good for the power play. That's still pretty good for the power play. Penalty kill. We are 20th in the penalty kill. We really went up big time. We went up big time because we went from 28th, 28 to 20 in uh, positioning. So we're definitely playing better, but I don't know, guys. Um, 20 is still rough. I might need to just simply change the strategies. Penalty kill, large box, maybe just passive box, and it should work out. Probably will work out a little bit better for us. All right, let's continue the simulation. Two, four, six. 8 and 10 all the way up to the Washington Capitals game. We'll see how we we uh, fare after 50 games played. Bro uh, Philip Boucher defenseman. Should we get him? He's not that good. He doesn't play that good. Minus 10 and everything. I don't like I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that, but he is 79 overall. No, I'm not not a fan of that, guys. If you, if you're in the minuses and stuff, that's it's not good enough not good enough to be in my team at least you're not like it's not a, a playoff a playoff guy that's for sure so let's uh see how we're gonna fare here a uh, commissarek so prospect for prospect they've got the their prospect seems a little bit better than ours so possible is actually a b potential this guy oh he's got an a in the potential offense c for the other ones but a He's 20 years of age, 22 years of age. He is already better. He's a defenseman. Let's go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's let's do that trade. Let's make that trade happen right away. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and edit the the lines, Chicago. So I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do this right here. Should do it right there. That's really great. That, that's really great for us. There we go. It's a, a great player right there. I mean, we got rid of a, a forward prospect, but defenseman prospect. We need more defensemen than forwards, right? On forwards, we can find this, find it uh, easily, under free agency or trades. But it's not the same thing for uh, defensemen. They're a little bit harder to find. So whenever you have a prospect uh, free for it like that, you get it. Uh, Nolan Pratt. Uh, not really interesting, but I, you know what? Let's get him just because he's going to upgrade us. Sure. Good upgrade. And Corey Murphy, another defenseman, which is pretty decent this year as well. So let's get these two defensemen, both of them. And I guess, yeah. So we got to go for edit lines. We're going to go and do this. And now we got... Two defensemen, which are going to help us out big time. Here we go. Our defense uh, on the minors is really going, growing big time right now. Look at this. This is this is the old NHL right there, guys. Three games in three uh, days. That is ridiculous right there. How can you breathe after this? You literally play three games... In three day, uh, three uh, three days, like you don't have uh, any space at all. That's ridiculous. That's some AHL thing right there. 
So 50 games played. We got 30, a record of 32, 12, and 6. Really great. We're still the very the best team of our conference. 70, to, uh, 70 points. No, none of our players are actually part of the top five, but that's okay. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. I think we're pretty good. Yeah, we're sitting pretty good. Uh, why? So I think we can continue. There's the all-star game right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going. We're coming up to March. So seventh of March is going to be where we're going to stop with sixty games played, and we're going to be right at the trade deadline as well. Which means we're about to get a lot of trade offers probably. Uh, one of these videos I might be tempted to actually look at the all-star game watch it or so do something like that you guys have to let me know though if you do want to see that the all-stars and in, in one of the, the next videos or something next seasons uh, so far I think we're two and two I think that's all uh, what is the record looks like after um, four games there we go now it's starting to pick it up uh, now Mike Moto. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not just gonna pick up every defenseman I see. No, I'm not uh, gonna pick him up. There's a lot of waivers this year. It looks like. I'm not just gonna start uh, picking up every player as I see. That's gonna become ridiculous if I do that. Darren Adar has been injured again. Let's replace him with uh, Kozlov. Kozlov is gonna have a lot of uh, play time this year. That's good for him, I guess. Steve Bijan. Really great player in real life. Um, do I want him though? Yeah, sure. Let's get him. Let's get him and get, play him for the miners. Why not? It's not going to hurt our team at all. Really not going to hurt our team. Let me just really quick stop the simulation. Go in the AHO. He's a left winger too, so he upgrades us uh, when it comes down to miners. So that's really great for us. There we go. Okay, so all the way up there. We got two more games remaining. That's the basically right now the big pause that's going on is the um, all-star pause. Uh, Jonas, Jonas Hiller. They want to give me Jonas Hiller. Got to give it a bit of potential. And I don't think he's going to grow anymore though. Uh, three goals. He's actually pretty good. I'm going to say 90 overall. Uh, 90 saving percentage is pretty good when you're in depth. No, I'm not going to pick him because I already too ma have too many goaltenders. Unless it's a really big time goaltender, I don't want him. Now we got uh, another one in the waivers right here. I think I'm going to pick him up because he's got a good potential. He doesn't play good, but uh, he's got a good potential. Maybe he can grow and help us out. So just give him to minors again. Just get him into the minors, guys, and he probably will help us out. I don't know, guys. He could. That's the guy we just picked up right there. The center, they want to play him in the right wing position. Fine by me. Yeah, we definitely want to uh, to get these uh, prospects up and ready for us. They, uh, definitely. So these are the two games left before 60. Uh, games are played. Eric, Eric Godard, uh, I don't think I want him. Nope, not good. Not good enough for us. I'm definitely not going to pick him up. Trade deadline is coming, is coming up, as they say. Let's see what we got. Another. See how all these players. Good lord. No, this guy's terrible. I don't want him. Miroslav, Sat Miroslav Satan, guys. Holy shit. Can we get. Do we get that player? 80 overall. Right wing position. I mean, it could definitely help out our team. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I'm picking this guy up. Play, picking this guy up. Right wing position? I mean, come on now. Miroslav, you're coming in there and you're playing for us. Once um, Adar is back, Como uh, Bradley is going to be the one uh, be penalized and he's going to actually be, go into maybe waivers or something. Uh, definitely, I'm definitely going to pick uh, or put um, my boy in here. So Kozlov... You don't need to be there anymore, Kozlov, actually. Because we've got the guy we needed. Right here. Miroslav Shatan. Here we go. He's going to be a great player for us. How many points does he got this year? 
Was it this year that he played or did he not play 55 points? Really? Yeah, he's got 55 points for 80 overall, guys. That's really great. So, hey, now Steve Shot is playing there. Where's Dickie Moore? Oh, Dickie Moore is playing on the first line. Why? Because um, Kovalchuk is injured? No, he's not. Why is... Hold on. Why is Kovalchuk playing on the, on the first line? What the fuck is this? On, on the, okay. I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm going to actually play um, Dickie Moore up in here. It might help him out. Yeah, I don't know why Kovalchuk was playing the fourth line, guys. That was uh, that was weird. It was weird. Okay. Uh, whoever has the best uh, offensive awareness. Okay. They both have the same. So I'm going to get uh, Dicky Moore in here just to get more points. I want him to get more points. And Eric Stahl, you can play with uh, Kovalchuk. You shouldn't have any problems with that. Mark, we're good. I'm definitely good. The Jacques Plant actually grew, as you can see. Uh, 97 overall, which is really good for us. Really good. All right. So after 60 games played, 38, 16, and 6, still the best team. We're tied up with Toronto at 82 points. And Gila Flower seems like he has 107 points already. He's going to have one hell of a year. Let's just look at the stats for our players. I know we just looked at some of them, but I want to look at uh, all of our players right now after 60 games played. So Eric Stahl, 34 game, uh, goals. He's our best scorer right now. Kovalchuk was obviously injured right here because for some reason he was playing on the fourth line. I don't know why. I kind of f fucked that up probably. And best player? Looks like it's Fosberg with 71 points right now. It's our best player. Kovalchuk afterwards. Stahl, uh, Stahl, Shatan, which we just got, is our fourth best player. Robinson playing really good. Dicky Moore, uh, really good, really good, really good. Um, I'm just hoping that, I mean, he's a 93 overall. He should be doing more points than, per game uh, than that. But uh, same thing for Steve Shot. But, I mean, he's playing on the third line all year, Steve Shot. So, I don't blame him. Um, defense, uh, right, goalie wise, still Letton only played one game this year, guys. One game. <laughs> Plant played literally all the games. This is something else. Alrighty then. Let's continue. Two, four. Actually, I want to look at the stats for our team, right? I do have to look at that. So, let's, let's just, uh, look at what we got. We're still the second best team of the league for goals per game goals against where are we that's uh yeah that's the second best team of the league as well for goals against we're doing really great uh ninth position so we're going up for power play for sure or actually we're trailing down in power play i should say um penalty kill now we're doing really great we're at 90 or 90 percent Penalty kill went up, guys. We went all the way from 28th position to 10th. 10th best team in power penalty kills. So that's really good. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. There we go. Go all the way up to Montreal Canadiens game. That's 70 points game. Uh, uh, 70 games uh, played at, this, at that point. So we're doing really great. This is exactly the type of year I wanted to see out of my team. Adar is finally back, so you know what that means. Bradley, you're getting uh, you're getting punished for that, unfortunately for you. Adar is back. And we're gonna stop the simulation because I do need to put uh, Bradley in the waivers. Put him in the minors. He did not get claimed, which means. You already know what it means. He's going to play there. There we go. Let me just make sure that... Uh, because I did that. Let me just make sure that everybody's playing their position as I wanted in them. Okay, yeah. They, they are. Uh, I don't know why last time, all this time... He probably played 10 games, Kovalchuk that is, in the fourth line, which is not good at all. Still produced, because he's a beast, but... And I, I probably injured his season, which is exactly not what I wanted to do. I, I did not want to hinder him at all. Alright, good. 
70 after 70 points, uh, 70 games played, 50, 46, 18 and 6. We're doing really great. Best team by far. We're definitely under playoffs, of course. Uh, 98 points. Definitely going to be the best team of the conference. I don't know if we are the best team of the league, though. We're going to have to check that out. And 102 points for both Morens and Lafleur. A really great season for both of them. All right, let's continue. Actually, I, I do want to see really quick after. What does it do for? Like, does it does it help out more uh, more, Dicky more to be play in the per first line because I know. He was not. Uh, he had last time we checked. He had uh, around the sixties. Let me just see really quick. So fifty nine points. It's not really helping him out. Whether wherever he plays. It probably would help out more Kovalchuk to play in the first line. I don't know. It seems like Dicky Moore is not producing as he should be. He's playing the first line, guys, but he doesn't have the best offensive potential, I guess. That's what's hurting him for some reason. I don't know. Let's just keep uh, the keep it the way it is, the way it is. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go. At, all the way up at 80 games played. Let's go. We can get f easily the 50 uh, the 50 wins this year. We did not get the 50 wins last year. I don't think so. Maybe we did. I'm not. I just don't remember properly. But this year definitely we're gonna get it, and that's really great for us, guys. Really great. So there's another win right here. One more win, and we get to the 50 mark. There we go. There's the 50 mark. So 50 wins, guys, this year. Uh, that's really great for us. Really great here for us. Let's see what we got. Another win right there. Dan Smith. Defenseman. Actually pretty great. I am going to pick him up. Go to the miners. Do this. And now we got even better defense. The defense is uh, impeccable in the uh, for the AHL. Our AHL team is ridiculously good. 141 points for Morens, man. One, one hell of a season for him. That's crazy. All right. We're doing really good. Let's just simulate the two last games, I guess. We don't need to uh, to wait things out. Regular season is over, and we ended up uh, with a, f a winning streak of three games in a row. So that's really good. We finished up the season, guys. 160, uh, 16 points. We're going to start off against the Philadelphia Flyers. I think we should be able to demolish them. Look at this. They've got 39 points. We ended up with 54 points. Uh, uh, 39 guys. They've got 39 uh, wins. We ended up with uh, 44 wins. Uh, 54 wins. So really, really good. Let's look at our stats, guys. Um, we ended up as the best league of the year. Or best team of the league as well. So we're going to have the President's Trophy. Really great for us. We're gonna look at our team, our players, who um, is gonna play the best for us. So, best scorer of our league, uh, of our team this year, Kovalchuk with 50 points, uh, 50 goals. Kovalchuk had 51 goals last year. That's three years in a row now that he has 50 plus more uh, goals. That that's really good for him. He's definitely producing. And um, we've got a 40 goal scorer in Eric Stahl as well there. Best player of our year was uh, Fosberg. Great acquisition with 93, 96 points. Definitely really good for us. Um, Kovalchuk, 92 points. Uh, obviously, it's not as good as last year, uh, 104 points. But still pretty nice. It's definitely want the, the type of production I want out of him. Stahl did really great as well with uh, 90, 89 points. Mir Miroslav Shetan, he did awesome. 74 points, which is ridiculous. Uh, Robinson, 70 points. A great defenseman right there. Great. Been really great. Basically the same season as last year. Uh, uh, only one low goal less than last year. Dicky Moore. Now, this is the question right here. Dicky Moore, I played him a little bit on the first line to try and help him out. Didn't seem to help him out at all anyways. 69 points. See, he had a much better year last year. And he had an okay year because he had 81 points. 
finished off with 69 points only this year. Which I'm not, I'm not too happy about that, guys. I am not too happy about that one. Um, I mean, it's okay. But for a 93 overall uh, guy, I would expect a little bit more. I would expect a lot more from him. I'm kind of disappointed in Dickie Moore, guys. Um, kind of disappointed in him, the performance he's giving me. Uh, Steve Schott, considering the fact that he played in the third line the entire year, um, he's got 63, 66 points. He played all right. Uh, definitely, it hit or him. Uh, the fact that he basically had the, the same amount of goals is the assists. The assists weren't there uh, this year for him. Obviously, did not play, didn't have a lot of time uh, compared to last year. Kubina, all right, really great defenseman. 60 points for him. 49 points for Boomy Star, which I really like. 49 points, Schneider. Got all these great players right here. Tange now. Tange playing on the fourth line. Really great. Say I'm gonna say it the way it is, alright? So we're gonna look at the way uh, look at it the way it is. Uh center. So first line center, he did really great. Definitely first line center, you want your your guy to have more points uh than games. I'd say you want four, uh, uh, 40 points. 40 points is uh, the good marking for third line. So definitely Fedorov uh, played well. He did. He had a good year. Fedorov had a good year. And you want uh, 20 points out of your, uh, out of your uh, center, your fourth line. So fourth line, 20 points. All right, always 10 points more, th th basically. So 40 points. Uh, Brian Leto. He was all right. He was okay, but I don't think he had the year he was supposed to get. Uh, 20, 18 points, struggling. The the D, see, right wing Blake Como did really great on the fourth line. Actually played a little bit of third line as well, so that helped him out a little bit. Uh, Bradley play, uh, played a lot of games too, so I don't know, guys, but played really great. A good season for Adar as well, third line. I'd say, yeah, that's really good. That's uh, that, that's really good. That's what I'm uh, expecting. Um, Defense-wise, really good for these guys. Yeah, really good. And what about, uh, okay, so Letton only played three games this year. In all three games, he had a shout-out for all of three of his games, which is ridiculous. That's really great for him. 51 uh, wins. For uh, Jacques Plant, he technically played all the games, as you can see, 82 games. Uh, probably all the three games there, then he just replaced at the last second. That's probably what happened or something. I don't know why that's a thing, but 51 games, uh, wins, really great season for uh, Jacques Plant. By far, Mar Ari Morens with 74 goals. Good lord. 66 goals for both Rick Nash and Alexandrov. Uh, all right. Uh, Vanek, 61 goal. 59 for uh, Lafleur, Iguinla, Cornoyer, Zetnik, Z Richard Zetnik. Are you serious? This guy. All right. That's uh, that's something else right there. The best player by far as, as well of the league. Morens with 141 uh, four points. Considering the last last year he had a great year, 111. Now he's got 144 points. That's 33 points more than last year. This guy is ridiculous. Morens, guys, it's one hell of a player. I tell you, I'm telling you. Uh, Lafleur, Cornoyer, Bilivo, all these players having a lot of points. What about the Rocket? How many points he played? A little bit. Um, less go points than last year because he didn't score uh, Mr. Four points basically So anybody else I don't think so Corey Perry Really good really good Okay, so all the rest that's all the players that are in the hundreds basically Saint we all right So defenseman wise what about the defensemen? defenseman what well, the best one was Campbell with 71 points so let's look at the goalies really quick, see what they did. Best goaltender, uh, or the one with the most wins at least. I mean, he played all the games, so that's only normal for him. 
Uh, Jacques Plant played all the games. 51 uh, wins. I'm thinking the Vizna should probably go for Lada though, because she's got 91 saving percentage. Definitely better than uh, Jacques Plant for sure. But Jacques Plant did pretty well. Did pretty well. All right, really good, really good, guys. And with the best rookie skater this year, Alexandrov was 113 points. What the hell, man? That was the very first overall draft pick as well of uh, the Panthers. They did uh, one hell of, they had one hell of a year. Okay then, well, I'm gonna stop it right here, guys. We're gonna continue next time for the playoff, the se our second playoffs. Hopefully, we go as far, even further, by winning the cup. I mean, with the team we've got in front of us, ridiculous team. We should be able to win the cup easily. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video. I'm gonna see you all for the next one. Keep it easy, guys.